50 years after we last left footprints on the moon, NASA's Artemis 1 is our first bold step towards getting us back there and pushing us farther than we've ever been before. Here we are now at Space Center Houston. This is a live look inside of the visitor center there. Uh, lots of people uh, hoping to see the launch today. I love this guy in the front with his NASA <laughs> shirt representing. Uh, and again, just seeing children and young and old, just all these people who uh, feel captivated and, and are excited about our next giant leap into deep space. So glad to have them here. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> yeah, the team in Marshall in Huntsville there is always ready for their shot. Waving their <laughs> flags, they're super pumped. That's the home to the SLS program office, so they have a dog in the fight tonight they seeing do. Artemis launch. And attention on 232, this is the launch director performing the final poll for launch. Verify no constraints and go for launch. EGS, program chief engineer. EGS Program Chief Engineer verifies that the EGS, SLS, and Arroyan Program Chief Engineers have no constraints and are go for launch. Copy, Greg. Thank you. EGS Chief Safety Officer. The EGS uh, CSO verifies the SLS, Orion, and EGS CSOs I have no constraints uh, and are go for launch. Range weather. Weather has no constraints and weather is go for launch. Copy, LWO and Mission Manager. The mission management team has been pulled. You have a go to proceed with terminal count and launch of Artemis 1. Go ahead, launch director. Yes, sir. On behalf of all the men and women across our great nation who have worked to bring this hardware together to make this day possible, and for the Artemis generation, this is for you. At this time, I give you a go to resume count and launch Artemis 1. T minus 9 minutes and 47 seconds. One minute. The Space Launch System is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can 20. no longer recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now 15. flowing under the ML. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiate. Seven, six, five, four stage engines start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1, we rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Carrying good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. And we have confirmation of core stage main engine cutoff. Orion is now in Earth's orbit. We are now one hour 20, coming up on 25 minutes since liftoff from Kennedy Space Center today at 1.47 a.m. Eastern Time. We had a really smooth ride to orbit. We saw solar, uh, we saw um, solid rocket booster jettison as well as launch abort system jettison. Eventually, we had core stage separation, which put us in the configuration that we have now with Orion connected to the interim cryogenic propulsion stage and flying free. The solar arrays deployed and have been swept back in preparation for the translunar injection burn. Earlier, we had the perigee rays maneuver, which lifted the lowest part of Orion's orbit around the Earth, put us in this perfect positioning ahead of translunar injection burn. We have confirmation from the booster officer that the translunar injection burn has begun and that we are at maximum thrust. It commits us to a lunar trajectory. And we have cutoff of the interim cryogenic propulsion stage, which has committed Orion to the translunar conjection. The spacecraft is moon bound. during the final Apollo mission some 50 years ago. 
The views of our blue marble in the blackness of space now capturing the imagination of a new generation, the Artemis generation.